Hi there folks. Uh, right now I'm going to do a comparison between these two knives that you see here. Both of them are Benchmade products. The 556 Mini Griptilian and the larger 551 Full Size Griptilian. Uh, I anticipate this will be a short video because these two knives have uh, more in common than they, than they have differences. Uh, they're both really great knives. I'll go ahead and throw up some quick stats here in the box so that you can see on paper what the, the difference is in be between them and their size. Of course often uh, these stats that you see online uh, uh, don't really tell the full story. Uh, I first bought uh, this 556 Mini Griptilian because it seemed like it would be much smaller and easier to carry than this full-size Griptilian. And, you know, that's true. It is smaller. Uh, and uh, for a lot of people, it's, it's going to be a better EDC choice, particularly if, for legal reasons, you, you need to stay under a 3-inch blade length because this, this is under, under 3 inches. Uh, great ut utility knife. If you're looking for something that might actually have some tactical value, the, uh, the additional length of the 551 Griptilian really makes it uh, a, great, uh, a great knife to carry. And it's not that much bigger uh, in terms of overall length, in my opinion. There you can kind of see a side by side, and uh, you get a lot, th a lot broader, and a somewhat longer blade length for not a lot of additional weight or uh, real estate taken up in your pocket. Both of them are made of 154 cm blade steel, uh, which is outstanding. The shape of the blades, uh, again modified drop point on both. Both have the thumb studs and the greatest feature of, uh, of these two knives uh, is arguably that, that great axis lock. Uh, on, the, on the 556 Mini Griptilian, because the blade is smaller and lighter, uh, you know, you can use the thumb stud just fine. But if you want to try to just do this little trick where you whip it out like that just by pulling the, the axis lock mechanism down, uh, releasing it to both open and close it, it's, it's more difficult because there's you need a little bit more weight to the knife. Whereas here on the, the full size, it's much easier because you have more weight there. You can tell I'm struggling a lot less even looking through the viewfinder of the camera, I'm struggling a lot less. It's because it's just easier to do because of the additional size and weight. Uh, you get a little bit more centrifugal force uh, in your favor. Um, let me go ahead and, and uh, get, get some close-up footage so I can discuss a little bit more on some of the differences between these two. Okay, in macro mode here so that you can see uh, some of the differences here that I'm going to point out. Uh, one of the big differences in, in how these blades uh, will perform uh, when you use them is the jimping. Both of them exhibit a kind of a faux jimping here on the, on the handle or wannabe jimping and then they have some more legitimate true jimping on the blade itself. And, you know, I've said this before in other videos, to me, uh, to be effective jimping, uh, you'll want the grooves to be both deep uh, and far apart. And because of the uh, blade thickness, the blade size, the differences, there's a, there's a little bit more effective jimping here on the, on the right here on the, the 551 full-size Griptilian than there is on, on the mini Griptilian. It just feels like it, ca it captures your thumb uh, quite a bit better actually. Again because you've got a little bit more real estate to work with to put that jimping in there. So the, the grooves are, are a little deeper 
and they're a little bit wider apart as well. But beyond that, not a lot of difference between these. Again, that extra size just makes it feel much better in terms of if you had to defend yourself. I would think that's I think that's the biggest difference between these two. You're going to get a little bit more thickness in the in the blade here, which means it's going to be a little stronger. Um, and uh, you know the additional length that you've got here, it's not a lot, but it's uh, it's very helpful. The blade thickness too is quite a bit different. The th the length doesn't tell the whole story. I mean, this the mini griptilian blade can literally fit inside the blade of the griptilian. And in a self-defense situation, you don't want to actually have to use this. Sometimes it would, you know, you just want to be able to present the knife and hopefully scare away your would-be attacker. And if you're trying to scare someone away, this is going to be much less scary than this guy right here. Uh, this this the full size grip chilling the 551 I think presents much more of a credible threat, and and that means something to me anyway. And you can see both of them have the 154 cm blade steel markings. Notice too that in terms of thickness the uh, handle thickness. You don't get a whole lot more thickness in the 551 which is on the left versus the 556. Um, it doesn't take up that much more room in your pocket. So to me there's there's not a big penalty from a size and weight perspective. You know, clearly the 551's thicker, it's just not that much thicker in my opinion. I don't mind carrying it. Uh, for some for some people, maybe you know during the week when you're in the office, the 556 mini Griptilian will be a better option, and, and uh, or, you know nights and weekends, maybe something like this uh, 551 full size Griptilian is going to be a um, more practical choice. But again, in, in my opinion, you don't suffer a big penalty for going with the 551. So there you have it, there's my comparison of both the 556 mini griptilian here and the 551 full size griptilian. Both outstanding knives, I'm glad I have both. If I had to pick one or the other I would probably go with the 551 because I think it has uh, in terms of overall usefulness, I think it has a tactical value as well as a, a utility value, whereas the 556 Mini Griptilian I think has a uh, great utility value but not, uh, not nearly as much tactical value in terms of self-defense. Uh, the one nice thing about the 556 is because the blade is under 3 inches, uh, you'll you'll be able to carry that probably in more places throughout the US uh, and uh, likely worldwide as well uh, than, uh, than the 551 Griptilian because some, uh, some states, some, some locales do have some restrictions on uh, knives that you can have on your person uh, that have to do with blade length so do, do check your laws. Uh, I think for me this will be a great uh, knife to bring with me when I travel and not really have to worry about uh, uh, falling into to, uh, uh, outside the boundaries of what's legal wherever I travel, at least here in the U.S. So, uh, so definitely both both are great knives. Both have value depending on uh, your uh, your philosophy of use. Uh, but if I had to choose one or the other, I think I would choose uh, the full size Griptilian. Hope you found that comparison useful. Uh, please leave me some comments. Let me know your thoughts on these knives. Uh, until, until the next video, take care and God bless.